Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances like the smart Whirlpool top load washer featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items. Leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load. Plus, skip steps with the load and go dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in store or online today. Grandma, we miss you. Come here, kids. It's so good to see you again. Grandma and I have to catch up. Why don't you play in the other room for a bit? Okay. It's good to see you again, Mom. We all missed you. I'm sorry it took so long. I lost a lot to my gambling problems, but I'm happy to have my life back with you. We are too, Mom. If gambling is creating a problem for you, call the Washington State Helpline at 1-800-547-6133 or visit evergreencpg.org. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. I love this bit that Jimmy does every year, Jimmy Kimmel, where uh, he asks parents to record the reactions of their young kids and then tell them when they wake up, you know, that, oh, I ate all your Halloween candy. <laughs> That's child abuse right there. Yeah. Uh, Call CPS right now. What are you talking about? He puts it on video, so it's for our entertainment, right? Oh, so yeah. therefore it's good. Yeah, it makes and, it better. Uh, yeah. yeah, and uh, <laughs> here are some of the best responses of the kids who were told this horrific news. I got hungry in the middle of the night, and I ate all of your Halloween candy. I thought you were on a diet. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on. I like those kids. Hey, what, what word do you think he called her? Oh, boy. An S or an F? Uh, oh, see, I was could, thinking the B. Yeah, the B oh, word sometimes. I was thinking the D. Oh, oh, the B, the D. There's so many bleep words. <laughs> See <laughs> you next Tuesday, maybe? <laughs> so CSMF, I think. Wow. Oh, there you go. Wow. No. That's wow. kind of a long one for that short beep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, kids say it faster than we do. Yeah, they do. Ah, yeah. okay. So, yeah. Uh, I, just, I thought you were on a diet. <laughs> That's yeah. great. You know what? You got what you deserved. Yep. Yeah. That's fantastic right there. Uh, yeah, I love how what we think of the words the kids say. So we pretty much know where we're living if somebody eats all of our candy. We know our responses. <laughs> yeah, you see, so it's like, don't take Steve's candy, you CMS. Uh, MS, um, you know what I can't, you know, you know what, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All you letters. Yeah, you letter. I, I was thinking I better be careful just not to spell anything else. <laughs> I could get us in trouble, so I'm just going to leave it at C. Oh, it was the D. Uh, oh, it was the D. Oh, I called it. That's yeah, right. see, I got a little kid energy. I know what's going on. Wow. A dork. I can't believe they called a parent a yeah, dork. Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> a D of all of them. Yeah. I guess mine was a little more extreme. Yeah, I thought sure it once, was. Once you guys said bitch, I was like, oh, okay, it's got to be that. Yeah. Because they do bleep that on, like, TV. Sometimes. Yeah, but the kid knows the D word. All right, then. <laughs> That's a dad word right there. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. kid overheard dad say that yeah. from time to time. He's Probably asked. driving. Yeah. <laughs> or mom calls dad that a lot. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay, then. <laughs> oh. 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 That would stop me in my tracks if my wife said that to me. <laughs> hey, quit being a D. I mean, like, all right. You're right. Maybe I shouldn't be because I never, I would never hear her say that. Yeah, same. Yeah, if, if my wife says that to me, I'm like, oh, I must be doing something very mean. Yeah, yeah. I've earned that title. Yeah. Or yeah. you guys are thinking of it in the mean way. What if it was like in the bedroom kind of way? Oh, like show me your. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but why would the kid use it then like that? Because yeah, they that's... just come up with words. You're just... no. I say the darndest thing. Yeah. Right? I oh. accidentally said that when I was a kid because I thought that was the right word. No, oh, yeah, nah, not Yeah, but uh, I'm sure you didn't learn it when somebody was in the bedroom saying, show me your D. Show me your D. I, uh, <laughs> I feel like you were probably taught it like most of us. Uh, it's a negative thing. Like, you're a D. Well, no, I was curious, like, why guys have, like, 
weird underwear. Like, I thought guy underwear was weird compared to girls' underwear because why do you guys have a hole in your underwear, like a pre-made hole? Oh. And so, and I asked, is it because of that? Oh. And oh. I got in trouble. Wow. Yeah, it makes sense. It's still a bad word. I wonder yeah. how you learned that word, though, you know? I mean, I feel like... Uh, TV, maybe? I won't, maybe. I won't, TV? <laughs> what, when you were that little? Yeah, maybe like seven or eight. I don't think they were saying the D word on TV. Sesame Street. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. They used to used to teach you how all the words on Sesame Street. <laughs> Sesame yeah. Street after dark. <laughs> I stayed up late as a kid. Yeah, that's it. Um, hey, we got an awesome story about a car thief that was caught by the cops all because of his love for pizza. Yes, it's true. Danny V uh, <laughs> yeah, was arrested. Know, yeah. Um, Steve will tell you all about it. He's got the mix report for you at 617 on The Rock. BJ and Mix mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances like the Smart Whirlpool Top Load Washer featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items. Leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load. Plus, skip steps with the load and go dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in store or online today. Everything is better electrified. Like the guitar, toothbrushes, or cars. And Hyundai has the widest range of electrified vehicles on the market, including the first ever Tucson and Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. You can use electric when you want it or gas when you need it. It's your journey. Evolve it beyond the pump in the 2022 Tucson or Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. Visit your nearest Hyundai dealer or learn more at HyundaiUSA.com. Call 562-314-4603 for complete details. Kids, it's so good to see you again. Grandma and I have to catch up. Why don't you play in the other room for a bit? Okay. It's good to see you again, Mom. We all missed you. I'm sorry it took so long. I lost a lot to my gambling problems, but I'm happy to have my life back with you. We are too, Mom. If gambling is creating a problem for you, call the Washington State Helpline at 1-800-547-6133 or visit evergreencpg.org. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit UMGC.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. If you're hearing an informative newscast right now, well, then you must not be listening to BJ and Mix. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Mix Report. Well, thanks, guys, and thanks to Kia Pua for giving us the Mix Report. And today, it's a very special day. I did it all for the cookie. The cookie. Uh, yeah. The cookie. It's Cookie Monster Day. Oh, I nice. can't stand it. Gotta eat cookie now. Um, um, Maybe go to Crumble. Um, yeah, they, I, heard they a cookie. Open, I heard they just opened one up in Federal Way. Man, they're opening up everywhere. Soon to be in Tacoma. They're taking over the entire Northwest. I'm cool with that. Still uh, waiting for one in Bellevue. Well, Aww. keep waiting there, bud. <laughs> well, thanks, Pat. <laughs> thanks. I just had one of their cookies. I can't remember which one it was, though. That was uh, probably the one with the... Not the Midnight Mint. Peanut butter featuring the Muddy Buddies. No. How did you not have that? That's your, that's your peanut butter. It was a gift. I didn't... I, beggars oh. can't be choosing. Oh, <laughs> well, they don't know you, do they? Uh, I must have been from last week's selection. It was a very chocolatey one with a chocolate frosting. And I'm not a chocolate guy. Still amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was actually meant for Tatum for Halloween. But, you know, oh. she can't eat that whole cookie. Totally so it really not, wasn't yeah. for you. That makes a lot more sense now. I did it all for the cookie. Yeah. Did you yeah. tell her that you ate it and then yeah. record her reaction? No, because I'm a good parent. <laughs> I, just, I just ate it and acted like it's never been around. I don't know what you're talking Hooray! about. You know what Tatum's reaction would be if he ate her cookie. It's the same reaction he has to everything that her father does. You know. Yeah. Daddy, oh. Yeah, yep, she just yeah. accused me of pooping. And I get <laughs> it's a dirt cake cookie. That's the one that I had. Oh, wow. oh A gummy right. worm on top of an Oreo cookie crumbed cookie. Oh, that does look good. Yeah, yeah. dude, it was. <laughs> That's my daughter. Oh, yeah. Mm, she yeah. liked it, too. She chocolate all over her face. It was Aww. pretty awesome. <laughs> what she didn't have all over her face 
was pizza. Uh-huh. Which is very disappointing for Danny, but not yeah. for this one man by the name of Dewey Smith, who was arrested. He broke into some cars, and the cops, they were able to find him. This happened in Florida, of course. Of course. The reason why they were able to find him, he left a trail of evidence. Oh, really? Of pizza sauce. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> They found wow. sauce on the car door. They also found a pizza box. Uh, everything, and it all went back to him because he had pizza sauce all over himself. Oh, He's apparently a very sloppy eater. Uh, we have the sheriff of uh, the Florida Police Department. His name, I'm going to try and say very slowly, but I got to imagine that maybe growing up it was a tough last name to have. Ooh. Mike Chit, C H I T. Oh, Wood. yes. Chit yes. Wood. Yeah, I Mike, gotcha. Mike, Mike. Oh, yeah. Here he is talking about what happened. Clearly, this wasn't the smartest person that we've come across this week. When they started knocking on doors to see who had video cameras or whatever, they encountered our witness. And when they told her the circumstances, she's like, oh, that's Dewey Smith. You know, and he got the pizza from my house. When confronted <laughs> by the deputies, he you know, put his hands up and says, you got me red handed. Wow, well, he course, met marinara yeah. sauce red-handed, but he caught him <laughs> red-handed. That's hysterical. Yeah, that's Dewey Smith. Hey, hey, it's Dewey hey. Smith. hey. what a great name! Hey, I'm yeah. Dewey Smith. You know, Dewey he does crazy stuff like steal cars and eat pizza. Yeah, yeah I feel like he's like you know, like the, the loser criminal on any of those criminal dramas. Like I remember Justified, <laughs> and I think there was a dude named Dewey who was an idiot. And that's who I think of as the Dewey guy from See, Justified. I'm picturing like a John C. Riley type character because yep. of uh, Dewey Cox from uh, yeah. Walk Hard. <laughs> Sounds like, yeah, you're hey. right. I, I could see that. I think if they ever do a movie, it should be like Will Ferrell or Dewey. And Will Ferrell should play the, 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 the police officer, Mr. Yeah. Wood. Uh, and then uh, John C. Riley should be uh, Dewey Smith. I like this plan. He's got it planned out. We're printing money with this movie, hey. BJ. He's not the only dumb criminal. This one happened in Denver. A guy stole a go-kart, and I, I don't know, I guess he figured, hey, if you don't succeed at least once, try and try again. Because, well, he was arrested going to the store three times in a row where he tried to steal a go-kart. The first time, he flipped the go-kart. The okay. second time, he was able to successfully steal one. Yep. And then he went back and got arrested on the third visit. Oh. There we go. Congratulations. You already got one, man. Why are you going back? Yeah. Ah, cracking. I know. I, I'm wondering if Rev's done. I mean, uh, no, I, 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 don't no. give up, Rev. They're still a good team. There's... I know it's fine, Steve. Steve, he hyped me up for the uh, the the disappointment yesterday. Oh, yes. So I was ready for it. I knew that we weren't going to do fantastic, but well, I mean, those goals gave me gave me hope. Oh man, man. Oh, yeah. Edmonton's a really good team, and it showed yesterday. There's, Gosh, yeah. Uh, uh, it's just frustrating because like the the Kraken played great. It's just they got to figure out how to put the puck in the net. It's yeah, just they like, have a, a lot of shots on goal, but not a lot of results. So, and they got, what was against the Rangers? We talked about how Igor Shosturkin, their goalie, Shosturkin, uh, he <laughs> he stole the game for them. In this situation, I don't know if uh, was it uh, Koskinen, uh, the goalie for uh, for Edmonton. I don't know if he stole the game for us. It's more so, I think we made him look even better than he is. He's a good goalie, but man, they were just shooting it right into him, and it just didn't seem like they were able to just get that that fortunate goal to kind of just open up the floodgates and. They yeah. Ended up losing five to two. Uh, yeah. Good game, bad outcome. Yeah, I guess that's yeah. the best way I can describe it. I don't <laughs> well, know. You, what yeah, I mean, I mean, you you can watch the game and you can see the kind of shots that you wish that our guys would take because that's what we saw Edmonton do. Uh, a couple of posts, a couple that were just sitting right in front of there. It's got to be able to punch those goals in that are just right in front of the goalie, but they weren't able to do that yesterday. That's going to come. I mean, that, that's not that that. A bigger issue would be if they're not getting shots on goal. And they're getting yeah. shots on goal. It's just you got to be able to pull the trigger. And eventually, I think that will come. I hope that we're not in, like, game 78, and I'm still saying that. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounders, 1-1 draw against the LA Galaxy. Danny, what does that mean for the Sounders? It means we played pretty good. <laughs> we had a bunch of uh, players back from the injury list. Jordan Morris was back. Jordan Morris is back. First game of the season after a torn ACL last season. And so, I mean, it looked really promising, and it was kind of the same thing as the crack and we just need to get the the ball and the goal but if we figure that out we're going in the playoffs golden and some guys are coming back in time, yeah, right? Yeah, in last playoffs. night. They all came back. Rui Diaz, Ladero, everyone started. And then we have one game re- left in the regular season. And that's on Sunday at 3 o'clock. And that's going to determine our seed in the playoffs. Now we just got to figure out, will the Seahawks return from their bye week? Because they're off this upcoming week with Russell Wilson. Yeah. He pulled the pin out of his finger, BJ. Oh, ah, so this time it did what? happen. The pin is now gone. He even said, no more pin. He put it up on Twitter and then said, time to win. 
Because, you know, he's like yeah. Dr. Seuss on the football field. <laughs> oh, I get it. No more pin time to win. Yeah. I can, I, I'm okay never seeing the picture of his, the pin in his finger. It just, just I don't know why. I, I, those things give me like the heebie-jeebies. I know, even though I have seen so much worse on right. in every movie I watch. But you're right. Real life stuff, no thank you. Well, Pete Carroll was asked about Russell Wilson. Somebody asked him what it did it sound like when he pulled the pin out of his finger. And things got really weird during the press conference with Pete Carroll as he starts off this clip giving you an impersonation of what it would sound like by putting his finger in his mouth and doing that old thing. Here's Pete Carroll. <laughs> It's gonna be able to pop like that. It comes out. How it comes? I have no idea. I don't know. I think I think I can get a, pl- a pair of pliers. You know, and somebody's gonna hold his hand and, gonna, and just jerk it out of there. I, I don't know <laughs> what they're doing, um, but it makes sense that the pin's a straight pin, and so I think they'll just sneak it on out of there. You know. The hell is Pete talking about? Well, We're still talking about a baby. baby. <laughs> Why would they ask Pete Carroll, who was a football coach and not any kind of physician or surgeon or orthopedic anybody? And I think I, I laugh. It's like, well, at least Pete, you know, said, all right, you ask me an idiot question and I'm an idiot. I'll give you a shot. <laughs> I do love Pete whenever he does his interviews. He doesn't really. I say he suffers no fools, but he's not a jerk to the reporters when they ask stupid questions. But he doesn't give. He gives kind of snarky responses, and I find great humor in that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Say, so what do you want from me? Yeah. I, I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Jerk <laughs> I mean, yeah, it something. out and stuff it in. I don't know. Whoa. Some pliers, that stuff it in, jerk it out. Yeah. What? Well, uh, you know, you kids figure it out. <laughs> well, that's the problem. The Yelks didn't give them doctors to be uh, interviewed by the media. I don't understand why. I mean, I mean, that's important. We need to talk to the doctors. As far as weather, 53 degrees. It's going to rain today. That's the major part, and that's what's up. Oh, oh we'll the World Series rain. is happening, too, right, today? Uh, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, right. Game six, yes. Game six. Atlanta Braves could be World Series champions. Well, they, they you know, it's a, they, they had their chance in Atlanta. So, again, it's been 2013 since a team has won the World Series in their home park. And it won't be done. And it won't. It, well, it could be done if the Astros, you know, can win today and tomorrow. Otherwise, Atlanta's going to have to... You know, keep that trend going. That they, they don't win in their home joint. Have the Atlanta Braves? How many World Series? Oh, they have. They've had a few. They've they've been they to a three couple, championships. I guess. It says. Do they have three championships? It wow, says I only have... 57 and, and good old nineteen fourteen. Oh, good old right, nineteen fourteen. Okay. Yeah, I was alive for one of them. I was like, I only remember one, but I forgot about the old timey stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. So they're going for their fourth World Championship. And the Astros are going for maybe their second or third. I can't remember uh, how many have they won. I think they've won at least one, but I don't know. Well, without uh, cheating, I don't think they've won any. Uh, 2017. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the one I know about. Yeah. I yeah, just don't know if they've won any more beyond that. Yeah. I don't think so. That's it? Yeah, that's all I see here. Yeah. All right. So the Astros have only won one with a big asterisk. <laughs> An Astros-isk. That's for sure. <laughs> you just reading this text gives me also back to the heebie-jeebies with Pete Carroll. Oh, what's uh, going Russell on now? Wilson. So I had a nail go through my thumb and I had to use a pair of vice grips to get it out. So maybe Whoa. it's like the same thing. Whoa. Wow. 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 Right. I know yeah. you got to get rid of the thing. I wouldn't be like, just keep it there. I don't want to feel. But that's just such a weird feeling to have someone like. Yeah, that's like when you get your like, tooth pulled. Yeah. That's crazy because you don't feel it. I mean, you don't you don't feel the pain, but you feel the pulling of the teeth. Yeah, I felt the yeah. tugging because when I had mine done, it was stuck in there so bad that the the uh, the dentist actually had to like prop his foot up on the armrest <laughs> to take it out. It was I see on his face on your face. Like, no, <laughs> wow. it was on the armrest, but no, he actually had to get some leverage to get my tooth out. Boy, wow. that's the, yeah, that is that. that that's, it, yeah, that's it's pretty. Picture. It's pretty horrifying just to feel that. Why didn't they just tie a string around your tooth and slam a door? <laughs> because that wasn't going to work. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, you know, if he was five, maybe. Yeah, right. Uh, but you know, when you get older, you need a little bit more leverage when the guy's going to put his foot on your chair. I, if I saw a dentist doing that, I'd be like, I don't care if it's not the right thing to do. Can you please put me out? Yeah, yeah. Give me the light. I do not want to watch. An- that doesn't feel very safe to me. Like, no. I, feel, I feel very uneasy about a doctor putting his foot and yanking it that way. I don't want to be away from this. He was a this. great dental surgeon, though. Got it all done eventually. Yeah. I mean, that's eventually. that is the one. <laughs> that is the one place, couple. man, where there's just PTSD, man, for me every time. I just remember the worst things that happen every time I go. No matter and it's no matter what they do, and they they literally don't cause me any pain, and yet my body is just like tripping. Like, get me the blank out of here. And it's moments like the ref talks about that now I'll put my my crazy memory bank, and yeah. now I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna have this image. Next time I go just to get my teeth clean, I'm gonna have this image of somebody putting their foot on there trying to rip my teeth out. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, dude. It's it's bad, man. It's bad for me. I have. Oh man, do I just have trauma about that?
So oh. I had a pin in my arm when they when I broke it. They had to pull it out. It didn't make a noise, but I could feel the vibration through my entire bone. Whoa! Yeah. It's just, that's got to be like the weirdest feeling. They can't yeah. feel the pain, but to feel the actual act. Yeah, they told me that if I had broke my foot like an inch lower than it is, I would have had to get some pins in my feet. Oh damn! That was so bad, but that luckily I broke it in the right place. Dodged a bullet. Luckily you broke right. it. In the right hey, good place. news! You broke it in the right place. I was like, good cool. job, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. Great yeah. job. I intentionally you know did it that way. Yeah. You are an accomplished klutz, sir. We just want to let you know you're professional. You got it done right. <laughs> That's actually true. Well, at least you don't yeah. have to worry about going through a metal detector then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. except for my wallet chain, but you know, right? Because that's surgically attached to you. <laughs> it is <laughs> pretty much. I believe it. <laughs> Feels that way. I wonder if they're going to have to give him anesthesia to get that taken out of him someday. <laughs> no. All right. All right. <laughs> Yesterday, Steve he did get this one wrong. What do you get when you mix rum, simple syrup, and lime juice? Snacks? No. <laughs> Snacks? Uh, um, cosmopolitan? No. Uh, Long Island iced tea? No. Pow. What's no? You can't pass. You already Snacks. said three. Oh, look at him trying to look at him trying to pull a move. But luckily, the host knows what's up. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can't fool the host. I tried with, with your snacks. Uh, we were looking for daiquiri. That was the answer we were looking for. You want a shot at beating Steve? You got it. Two oh six four two one rock. We're playing beat Migs at six forty seven. On the Rock. Today's podcast is brought to you by bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagne, who's ready to answer your questions about bankruptcy. Travis, is it true that if you file for bankruptcy once, you can't file again? Even if you filed bankruptcy before, you can almost certainly file bankruptcy again. Different types of bankruptcies have different time limits between filings. In Chapter 7, full bankruptcy, you can only file Chapter 7 once every eight years. However, you can always, almost always file a Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 cases can be filed uh, immediately following a Chapter 7. They can be filed immediately following a prior Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 is a reorganization plan, so there will be some type of monthly payment, but it's based on your budget and your ability to afford that payment. So Chapter 13 is an option in almost all cases, uh, even with a prior bankruptcy filing. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances like the Smart Whirlpool Top Load Washer featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items. Leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load. Plus, skip steps with the load and go dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in store or online today. Grandma, we miss you. Come here, kids. It's so good to see you again. Grandma and I have to catch up. Why don't you play in the other room for a bit? Okay. It's good to see you again, Mom. We all missed you. I'm sorry it took so long. I lost a lot to my gambling problems, but I'm happy to have my life back with you. We are too, Mom. If gambling is creating a problem for you, call the Washington State Helpline at 1-800-547-6133 or visit evergreencpg.org. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev.